I'm trying to put up a smile um, because obviously this morning we woke up to hear of the bad accident involving one of our key members, um, the Balfour um, Iwasa Academy. Um, I have kept the smile because uh, at least as of now, no life has been lost. I'm so glad that our RFA in the Eastern region have duly visited uh, the accident victims and uh, everybody is currently alive. It's unfortunate, but life still goes on. Welcome to the official launch of the 2021-2022 national football season. This season promises to provide exceptional entertainment. It promises to be action-packed and a step above the excitement from the recently ended football season. This year is said to be an epic campaign packed with passion, skill, determination and rewards across the various football products within the domestic league. We at the FA have set in place a chain reaction that will not only improve how our games are played, but how our games are officiated as well. In saying this, let me say kudos uh, to our newbie, um, our proud family from the West, Sky FC, can we clap for Sky FC, please? <laughs> for being champions of our newly born one league Super Cup, which ended over the weekend. We're looking forward to also starting the Women's Super Cup. And obviously, the chairperson of the committee is represented here by Honorable uh, Barbara AEC. Is it AEC? AEC. Dama. Aisha. Nanyana. AC. Nanyan. Okay. The GFA instituted a number of interventions to improve our games across board in the last 12 months. We thank each and every club, each and every member that availed itself to participating and supporting the various development campaigns through training and compliance. Our mission this season is to create magic on and off the pitch. Obviously, we aim to provide a compelling lineup of games for our fans this football season. The entrance of new clubs to the Premier League and the Division 1 League will create healthy competition and increasing or interesting rivalries. Our domestic league indeed has some of the best players in the squad lineups in the country and as they say on the African continent itself. It is from our leagues that stars are discovered and fettered onto the national and global stage. Now what we have in store for, for our clubs Last season, one of the key in interventions was to ensure that the best coaches from our leagues get the opportunity to enhance their knowledge by way of attachment beyond the shores of Ghana. Unfortunately, because of COVID and its attendant problems, we were not able to send our coaches abroad as promised. We're looking forward to further engaging our partner clubs across the world to ensure that when situation becomes much much better we will of course explore that opening that is geared towards enhancing the capacity of our coaches now what is in store for our premier league again the winner of the gpl will take home 250,000 ghana cities the runner-up will take 150,000 ghana cities and the third place team obviously will take home 80,000 ghana cities as it has already been announced, each of the Premier League clubs would receive in total 40 Tempo footballs for this season. Don't forget that Tempo is giving us a total of 5,000 footballs this year for our clubs in the Premier League and in the First Division League. So each of the Premier League clubs would receive a total of 40 Tempo footballs made up of 30 training balls and 10 match balls for the upcoming season.
for the GPL, the best referee for the year will take home a car at the end of the season. I am very sure that our referees will be happy. The whole idea is to encourage our referees to be competitive and to deliver top-notch performances over the course of the season. Coming season, each of the match officials would receive or have already received three uniforms each for the upcoming season. So we say Aquaba to ZAZ. Now, Division 1 League. Each of the Zona winners will take home a car. Each of the Zona winners will take home a car. <laughs> The second place teams will take home 30,000 Ghana cities and medals. Obviously, each of the 48 clubs would also receive 40 tempo balls for the season. 40 tempo balls for the season. Let me pick that one more time. Each of the Zona winners would receive a car at the end of the season. The second place teams would receive 30,000 Ghana cities. Of course, the first place team will take home 40 gold medals. 40 silver medals for the second place team and 40 tempo footballs for the current season 40 tempo footballs for the current season wpl each of the winners from the two zones would again receive 50,000 ghana cities 50 five zero thousand ghana cities the second place team from each of the two zones will also take home 30,000 Ghana cities. So the first place team, 50,000 Ghana cities, plus 40 gold medals. The second place team, 30,000 Ghana cities, 40 silver, silver medals. Again, each of the 20 clubs would receive football pumps, ball bags, jersey team bags, mini movable goalposts, training beeps, cones and markers, footballs and 20 shin guards per club for this current season. I'm sure Hilary should be happy. <laughs> Hilary, come on. <laughs> Hilary. Yes, Oh, you're the one. Hilary, I'm sure you didn't hear what I said. I'm saying each of your 20 clubs would receive on Thursday, because the items are already ready, Football pumps, ball bags, Jesse team bags, movable mini goal posts, training bits, cones and markers, footballs and shin guards. When we made a promise to invest heavily in women's football, this is just one of the many interventions that the FA has rolled out to ensure that our black queens will not only show the kind of performance we saw of them two days ago, but move a notch higher than what we saw of them two days ago. Okay, let's go on. The recent incident of match fixing will surely be put to rest after the investigating team presents its verdict, hopefully this week. I'm talking about match fixing. I know a lot of you are very much interested in the ongoing case involving Inter Allies and Ashanti Gold. I will therefore take this opportunity to sound a strong word of caution to all who seek to destroy a domestic sport under the cloud of greed and obscurity to, to desist from the practice or find themselves facing the law for their appalling actions. Again, Incidents of hooliganism that occurred last season was widely condemned by the Football Association. Not only was it not okay, it became a stain on the credibility of the football brand. Acts of hooliganism at some match venues, which drew widespread condemnation from the general public and the media, shocked players and officials in equal measure. I want to restrict or reiterate the stance of the FA to unconditionally condemn the conduct of rowdy and incensed fans at game centers. This is not acceptable. My compatriots, I firmly believe that we must give praise where praise is due. 
Government's contribution to the domestic league in the last 12 months deserves co co commendation. In April of this year, the Ghana Football Association received financial support from government through the Ministry of Youth and Sports for onward disbursement to domestic league clubs. This was government support to the clubs to offset some of the expenses during the COVID-19 pandemic, which wreaked havoc on health and finances of our dear clubs. We also witnessed the delivery of Astro Turf pitches across the nation, which were spearheaded by government's initiative to support sports in the country. The contribution of these pitches to the stock of game centers nationally has created opportunities for clubs to focus on their training powers without worry. Star Times Ghana, our network partners in broadcasting, will continue to deliver or cover all games throughout the football season. Just like the hosts of teaming football fans, we expect entertainment on our screens every match day to bring us closer to the action each match week. She's already announced that Star Times is going to broadcast a minimum of 150 live games, 150 live, live games during the upcoming season. Can we clap for Star Times, please? <laughs> Our Women's Premier League and the Division 1 leagues will continue to be streamed on various social media platforms, etc., etc., the platforms that are owned by the Ghana Football Association. Our GFA is steadily pushing the national agenda for digitization, where fans on the go will be entreated to watching live games by streaming services on the upcoming GFA app, which will be launched very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, watch the space or watch this space. Ghana football is about to explode in form and in fanfare, going beyond our borders on mobile devices across board. Again, e-ticketing is one key strategy that we're going to roll out in the upcoming season. So what that means is that you'll be able to purchase your match tickets on your mobile phones instead of you going all the way and engaging in queues at game centers across the country. So e-ticketing is here and has come to stay. Our domestic league is ably supported by our corporate sponsors and partners, such as Malcolm Ghana Limited, Woodin, NASCO, STC Intercity Coaches, and Star Times. Esteemed guests, I'm delighted to announce once again our newest sponsor to join the fold, Temple Sports, who takes on the title of match ball sponsor for the next three football seasons, of course, starting from this year. And as has been announced already, Temple will be providing the Ghana Football Association with 5,000 footballs for use by our clubs in the Premier League and in the Division One League. Apart from the GPL, the DOL, and the Women's Premier League, the Ghana Football Association would this year also organize our maiden, perhaps our maiden, yes, beach soccer tournament in Pram Pram. So for the first time, you will all be invited to Pram Pram for our maiden beach soccer tournament. Obviously, we're working on futsal and hopefully we should be able to roll out a competition for futsal. Once the subcommittee responsible for futsal um, gets ready with the program for the season. A new era of national domestic football is set to be unleashed, reverting the results this year. All judges of every deserving club will be represented throughout the upcoming football season. We we'll all look forward to a very, very interesting 2021-2022 football season. On behalf of the Executive Committee of the Football Association, I wish all our clubs the very best of luck this year. To our fans, I welcome you to a memorable experiences and to all stakeholders in the football fraternity, let's continue the good work in developing Ghana football to its highest potential. It is our own. Let's support our own. I thank you all for coming. And on that note, I humbly declare the 2021-2022 football season duly launched. <laughs>